and America's venal and foolish rulers. That's our focus in tonight's preamble. Joe Biden has been the poster child for incompetence, corruption, and failing up his entire career. Even when he had his full mental capacity, his own party regarded him as a, as a joke. Best kept to one vote so that his vacuous and insane ideas could never be implemented to harm we Americans. Now his whole party thinks like him or doesn't think just like he doesn't think. Anyway, because of Joe Biden's obvious ideological and mental deficiencies, he broke an over 100-day dodge on speaking with the press by appearing on an alleged comedian show, Jimmy Kimmel. Inflation is the, is, is, the, is the bane of our existence. Inflation is mostly in food and in gasoline at, yeah. at the pump. That's what kills you, because it's well, a little billboard telling you, everyone you every, how expensive but, everything but, is. If Donald Trump leaves one of those Sharpies over for you, you could maybe change the price on that, but, you know. But, we, we could. Yeah. Okay, so Joe Biden and the socialists who support his agenda are responsible for record high gas prices, massive inflation, an ongoing supply chain crisis, open borders, massive illegal immigration, one foreign policy disaster after another, and Kimmel takes a swipe at Trump? It's why we call him an alleged comedian, not really funny. Tries to get laughs by ignoring the pain your family is feeling because Jimmy Kimmel, along with his fellow rich elitists, well... They're not missing any meals. The Republicans don't play it square. Why do you play it square? Yeah. Well, well, guess what? If we do the same thing they do, our democracy will literally be in jeopardy. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm not a joke. And I, I understand their argument, but also it's like you're playing Monopoly with somebody who, you know, won't pass go and won't follow any of the rules. And how do you ever make any progress if they're not following the rules? Well, you've got to send them to jail. Uh -huh. It's one of the Chris Salcedo show axioms, folks. Leftists project qualities onto others that they themselves have in abundance. As mentioned, the Democrat Party is facilitating massive illegal immigration, millions of foreign nationals coming in. As Joe Biden and Jimmy Kimmel's lawless leftists seek to punish law-abiding gun owners for the acts of criminals, Joe Biden's own son won't get prosecuted for committing a felony, lying on a background check for a firearm. And California just recalled one of their pro-criminal Soros-backed DAs for making the streets of San Francisco a war zone littered with Democrats' criminals. Just a, just a process question. When you have sensitive documents that you need to flush down the toilet, do you do that? Is, the, is that done in your office toilet or is that done in the bathroom, in the personal bathroom area? I call Trump. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Says the guy who tried to bury the Hunter Biden laptop. Says the guy who claims that he's never discussed overseas business dealings that his son and his brother have had with America's enemies. Says the guy whose DHS censorship board reportedly pursued to, quote, operationalize partnerships with big tech to censor opposing viewpoints, according to leaked documents pushed out from Senator Chuck Grassley's office. This from the guy who refuses to release his visitors' logs from his frequent retreats to Delaware. Most Americans want to know who Biden is meeting with. But hey, nobody expects Kimmel to know any of this stuff. And that's why Joe Biden goes on his show. He knows Kimmel is dumber than a sack of rocks, who, like other leftists, will call all of you dumb for asking questions. And the fact that this makes sense is why it doesn't make sense and why it seems so crazy and that we have so many problems and that maybe it's just that Americans aren't as knowledgeable as they should be. Or maybe there's a, uh, a, a Death Star pumping false information into our Fox, brains. right? Hmm. Collectivists are vacuous, deceitful, and cowardly. And that makes them dangerous. Rest assured, if President Trump went 100 days without talking to the press, then went on some late-night, know-nothing show, the newscasts at ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, and MSNBS would be having a cow. But because those so-called news outlets and Jimmy Kimmel are in on this scheme, the scheme to hide the mental incompetence and the dark designs of this administration, Joe Biden gets a pass. The idea is to force their leftist utopia on you before you can stop them. Given the state of the Republican Party, there's a real chance for Obama and Biden's vision to succeed. 
That's why honest outlets are desperately needed in our country and why we're targets. If communists were smart, they wouldn't be communists. If Democrats had any marketable skills or any value to our country, they'd be committed to free enterprise. They don't have those skills, so they resort to force to make sure they are never challenged and never have to work like the rest of us. Ineffective and totalitarian government needs a good line of BS and a willing crew of apparatchiks to carry their water. Good thing for Democrats. They've always got Jimmy Kimmel, one of the least inquisitive but most unfair persons in our country.